Hey guys, how is it going? In today's tutorial, we will learn how to use a standalone Chrome Docker container to execute UI automated tests based on a Selenium with Java framework. Some of the benefits are that you can run these tests in an isolated environment. Also, you no longer need to have any browsers or web drivers installed on your local machine. The starting point is a classic Maven project that contains the following dependencies. Selenium 4, which is still in alpha stage, Java client and testng. Let's have a look into the docker selenium 4 documentation. It says that for this procedure, firstly we have to start a docker container with a proper browser. These are the standalone options. For these examples, let's pick Chrome. As a prerequisite, make sure that Docker is already installed up and running on your machine. The command that verifies that depends on the operating system. In most of the cases on Linux, it will be system ctl status docker. It must show active. As a brief description about this command, it will create a port mapping between the container and uh, the local machine. It will also create a volume between these two locations. This one belongs to the container and the other one to the local machine. And last but not least, the command uses the Selenium standalone Chrome image to start the container. Let's open up a terminal and run this command. Docker PS shows the running containers. Our container is displayed and everything looks good so far. Next and the final step is to point our web driver to this host URL. Moving on with the project, in the previous tutorial Selenium with Java from Zero to Hero we learned how to set up a framework just like this from scratch. However, you can find its link in the description below. Let's create a new test class. Continue with the hook methods. Create constants for the URLs. Next, create a remote web driver instance. that receives two instances, a an URL and Chrome options. Handle the exception with the try catch. And let's also set an implicit weight. Finally, access the application URL. Great. 
Let's create a test scenario that makes an assertion on the title. So this is it. Run the test and see what happens. The test is running directly in the container and it passed. Let's have a look into the container's logs. So as we agreed we have this container up and running and the command to access its logs is docker logs followed by the container's name in here we notice that all the selenium logs are present we could re-execute the test in order to see all the logs live to get live logs, you just need to add an additional option to the previous docker logs command. So it will be docker logs hyphen hyphen follow. Enter and rerun the test. Great, the test passed again.